What's going on guys? Welcome back to Team Big Plays. I'm, I'm here with the boy, Corey Suddeth, who managed to get uh, his invite making top 32 with tri -Brigade. So I'll let you take over here, man. What you got? Yo, so what's up? I'm Corey from Team Sodor. Uh, I got 30th place in the extravaganza with Kit Kat, with tri -Brigade Lyrilisk. Um First, I want to do shout outs. Uh, shout out to uh, Team Sodor, my home team. All right, all the boys on the team. Shout out to Team Big Plays behind the camera. Thanks for all the support, man. You've helped me out throughout the years, you know? Of course, bro. Um, shout out to our home store, The Side Deck, where we are right now. Uh, not sponsored, but if we were, that'd be pretty cool. Um, shout out to Nikolaus for helping me do all the theater crafting the night before the extravaganza. And shout out to the Trevor Gate Facebook group for just being awesome and giving so much advice. Support, support, support. It's all about the support, man. All right, so so tell me about your matchups, man. What you, do you have to go through? All right, so I went, ended up going 6-2. Um, the funny thing is, my own one of my losses was because I registered late, and so I got an automatic loss in the first round. Um, after that, I ended up going up against uh, a Witch Crafter Wind Witch deck, um, which surprisingly enough, they play under the barrier statue really well since they're all winds, but they just don't have the power to keep up, they don't have enough speed. Um, I went up against Drytron, uh, he only summoned two monsters the entire game because I didn't let him play. Um, round four was my only actual loss, I lost to Zodiac Eldic Dragoon. Um, and that guy went on to get top 16, so props to him. Uh, round five, I went up against Slayer Darkness and Fernoids. Um, then I went up against Invoke Dogmatica. Then round seven, I got another in the Layer of Darkness and Fernoids matchup somehow. And then my final round was the Mirror Match. Crazy, crazy. It was really crazy. All right. All right, so, let, so let's, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Which All right, one? so for our main deck, let's go ahead and start out. Standard. So we have triple fractal, triple Keros, and triple Nerval, and then a single cat, or sorry, a single kit. It's a standard ratio. Um, I used to run two kit, but then I decided not to um, because your rescue cat targets, you can actually just summon two Keros. There's no need to run a second kit for rescue cat. Also, it is the worst tri brigade monster. They're all fantastic. This is just the worst one. And you only want to be ever sending it to the graveyard to dump rendezvous. It doesn't really have much other use. You will use it like other places, like really conditionally, but it's very specific. Um, for our not tri brigade monsters, we have the two rescue cat. Um, three is bricky. Two is pretty okay. I've been considering running the, um, the, what's the card? Jack in the hands build instead. Um, I've been testing it out, but for right now, I'm still running Rescue Cat in the competitive build. Uh, and then we go into our Lyrilis package. I play 3 2 1. So, three uh, turquoise, two cobalt, and one sapphire. Um, you want to see this? Uh, you want to see this sometimes? And you don't want to see this. Because <laughs> you can search all of these using each other. Um, yeah, this is your main combo starter. This is an extraordinary searcher. You want to see this card if you see turquoise in your hand, too. Otherwise, you're, you're just going to search it off of something else. Uh, let's... let's go our some more targets, Apex and uh, Barrier Statue. Got to play them. And then for our Hand Trap lineup, I play a lot of Hand Traps. I play Triple Ash, um, Triple Gamma with the Driver, and then Double Skullmeister and a single DD Crow. Um, the DD Crow is searchable, so I don't feel the need to run more. Um, and the Skullmeister has been fantastic for me. The matchup that I struggle with the most is playing against Prankits. And so if I can just stop their normal summon, I'm golden. And then the last hand trap I, I play is Triple Impermanence. Um, a lot of people aren't expecting this card. Right? It wasn't good in the previous format because Strychons and uh, Virtual Worlds are activated in hand or in grave, so Imperm didn't do anything. But now people are using the field again and they don't expect Imperm to be dropped. All right. Oof. I'm struggling. And then for our spell lineup, we have three extra copies of Fractal. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> yeah. we have Tanky, which searches Fractal, um, and then for our one ofs we have Foolish, Rendezvous, Call by the Grave, Monster Reborn, and One for One. I do not play the Trap card. The Trap card is amazing. It does fantastic things, but only if you go full board and you can go full combo. But the chances of you going full combo and like with so many hand traps everywhere, you're never going to do it. So there's no point in playing the Trap card if you're hardly ever going to actually use it. Otherwise, it just becomes a brick. 
right, let's move over into our extra deck. We have Link Arubo. Um, got to play extra protection for barrier statue. Also, sometimes your hands are just really bad and Link Arubo can help fix your hands. Um, double Dragon Lords, or for, for our Link 2s, we have Double Dragon Lords, Heartbeat Conductor, and two Ferrajit. They're amazing cards. This gets you into some more because it's a Winged Beast. Um, interruption, Extender. It's amazing. Um, for our Link 3s, we play one Doom Eagle um, and two Samorgs. Samorg is an insane card, and I see everyone only running one copy, but running two copies is amazing. In two of my matchups, um, in my Infernoid matchup, the second Infernoid matchup, a second Samorg won me the game, and in my final rounds, my mirror match, a second Samorg won me the game. Because this card is just an insane advantage engine. If you put this thing on the field and they don't get rid of it, you just keep summoning every turn and it's nuts. Um, Doom Eagle also really helps in the Infernoid matchup because you just use this quick effect shuffle a monster from their graveyard back into the deck and then they can't summon any of the monsters because all their material is in their grave. So if I just don't let them have any grave, they can't play. Uh, Link 4s, we have Appaloosa and a Double Omen. Appaloosa because Nibiru is scary. Um, and then Omen because non-targeting Banish is fantastic. Like, a big problem this deck has is spell and trap removal, and Omen is pretty much it. Uh, we can non-targeting Banish, stuff like that. Um, Alright, and then for our final extra deck, we have our Xyz. Uh, Assemble Nightingale and Shadow Starling. Um, this helps you saw if you need to. This searches for your combo. This is also used to go into everyone's favorite double a zeus this card is a must play in this deck there are so many games where i would open up so i could go into uh assemble nightingale without using my normal summon and i would threaten battle phase like people would be so scared of it and then if i went into zeus to follow it up i would wipe the board so like when i was in i had my invoke dogmatica matchup they couldn't stop zeus so i just wiped the board all right because the thing with um whenever you're playing your Leerless monsters, if Cobalt Sparrow, the main deck monster, is attached to one of your Leerless Xyz, that Xyz monster cannot be targeted. So if they have Punishment, that turns off their Punishment and it turns off their Elder Entity in Tis. So you just use Cobalt Sparrow, you make an Xyz, all right? They can't do anything about it. So the main phase two, you drop Zeus, and then you wipe the board either way, and it's awesome. And then our final extra deck monster is Omega. Um, Bad Yu-Gi-Oh players will run straight into Gamma, um, and then I'll rip a card out of their hand to go along with it. Um, yeah, Bad Yu-Gi-Oh players like a our man behind the camera who, hey, man. who loves to eat my Gamma. It's only because I had the Ash. <laughs> All right, and then for the tournament we have our side deck. Uh, let's start off with our back row hate, um, Harpy and Triple MST. Um, I've started playing MST over Cosmic Cyclone because everyone always sides Artifact Lancia against this deck. And so if they open Lancia and I drop like Cosmic Cyclone, they're just gonna stop the one. They're gonna stop it because they'll just chain Lancia to it. So I've sw swapped over to MST. And then Feather Duster needs no explanation. Um, Triple Solemn. Um, I would side this in if I knew I was going first, so that way if my opponent opened Forbidden Droplets or Dark Ruler No More, which are the really only outs to my board, um, I would drop Judgment. Or in, if the, in the weird place that someone plays the uh, the Wind Invoke monster, this will just stop Invocation. Alright, and for our going second cards, alright, we got Drool. Double Lancia, Double Alpha, and Double Nibiru. Um, I like two of ratios because I don't want to see it in multiples. And usually, like, this deck in its, like, original state can out enough things. It can play through a lot on its own. I can play through, like, two or three disruptions with almost no problem in most hands. But in the event that my opponent's going to set up, like, an unbreakable board, um, I have these to help out. So... Um, having stuff like Alpha to help follow up is amazing. I was able to summon Alpha in one of my games where my opponent summoned uh, a Mechaba and I had some Morg on the field. All right? And since they summoned their Mechaba, I was able to summon up or summon Alpha on that following turn and 
clear their entire board with Alpha and get control from that point. Um, yeah, all these hand traps were amazing. Every time I sighted them in, I, I saw them almost every time, which was fantastic. You love seeing your sights. All right. Cool, coolio, coolio. Thanks, man. Uh, if you guys, you know, liked uh, everything down below, bell, like button, sub. Hit, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notification bell if you guys want to see more uploads from here. Oh, uh, also, also, if, if y'all like, if y'all like gaming, uh, we, we, me and my boy, we stream twitch.tv slash triple <laughs> Alright, uh, as always, uh, hydrate, digest, and peace, peace.